YouTube, Joshua the Window Cleaner here, and today I'm going to be doing kind of like a storefront. It's a coffee shop. Um, it's a little bit higher than regular storefronts probably that you might do or that you have seen. Um, it goes up about two stories, but there's a lot of a lot of glass. It normally takes us about half a day. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much we make on this job because we do really good, and I know a lot of people that are in my area are watching, and this is at the mall, so this is a pretty good client. I'm here at Parlay Cafe. I'll show you in just a second. I'm in my truck um, <clears throat> at the mall. I'm going to also show you how I got everything set up so this can help you whenever you go to do a storefront like this where you got to park somewhere else and you got to kind of have all your gear with you. You can't really just go back and forth to the truck. You're going to waste a lot of time. So I'm going to show you real quick what I do whenever I go uh, do a coffee shop where I got to park kind of far away. So see you on just a second. So it's early in the morning, you can see uh, nobody's parked out here. I um, just want to show you, this is all I brought with me. I've got two poles, broom, ladder. That's where I have my water in there. And I have towels, and then like my spray bottles, lunch, stuff like that. These crates are awesome. And if you buy the big one like this, you can put water in it. So that's what I do, and now I'm going to um, wheel it over there to where I need to go. So this is what I'll be bringing with me. I'll be able to carry all this in one trip. Everything out of the back of the truck.
folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. had to ladder up and get these windows because um, this is a coffee shop and because COVID and we're in California it's opened and closed and opened and closed and opened and closed and so we've done them you know a few times but this last time it was a uh, like six months in between they had to move their appointment like three times three months in a row so um, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I already told them that, you know, the last time that they had to move their appointment uh, because of finances, I just told them like, hey, no, I totally understand. I'm not gonna charge you a fee or anything. But when we come back out there, like it's been a while, so I'm gonna have to ladder up and do those windows and 
um, because it's more risk, more time, I'm gonna have to charge a little bit more uh, to clean them that time, but then it'll go right back down to your same rate. So don't be afraid to tell people that. If they do cancel and it's a regular job, you know, you wanna be able to let them know, hey, this is gonna be a little bit more expensive because you've already canceled a few times and um, they're not gonna be as easy to clean as they normally are. So most of the time the customer understands that. If they don't understand that, then it's probably not the right customer anyway. So just wanted to give you all that little tip. Um, I really love doing Parlay Cafe. Uh, it's been an awesome spot. They don't really try to butcher me for my price. I don't do a lot of uh, jobs at the mall because most of the time they want the cheapest person. I know that Fish does most of the windows at the mall. So, uh, you know, don't always get too excited about doing storefronts or doing uh, mall jobs, things like that, because most of the time, a majority of the people that are in those little plazas and stuff are gonna want the cheapest guy. And I really, they don't really care that much. Um, about the quality so you know they're gonna want the cheapest guy so keep that in mind when you're doing storefronts and places like that but every now and then you will get lucky find a good business owner that wants quality and that's that's who you want uh, so hope y'all enjoyed we'll see you on the next video I'll be going live on Friday well probably not live because I keep having trouble with it uh, but we'll be making uh, another video and then posting it Friday um, at 7, between 7 and 7.30 p.m. my time. I'm not sure what time it is where you're at because there's a lot of you, so um, you can look up on Google or something what time it is where you're at and what time it is where I'm at. So just be looking for that at 7.30 p.m. I will be posting that. It'll be a premiere more than likely so that I will be able to watch that with you guys. I won't be like live. That won't be, you know, actually as a pre-recorded video but i'll be able to sit there and watch the video with you it's that's why it's called a premiere and i can comment with you and we can talk back and forth i can answer questions while the video is playing so like i said i hope y'all enjoyed the video we'll see y'all on the next one peace out